The research focus in my laboratory is to understand how brain works from the mechanistic standpoint, particularly in focal neurological disorders such as stroke, traumatic brain injury, or any kind of focal areas of damage in the brain. We had been able to make major strides in neuromodulation for the treatment of common conditions such as Parkinson's disease. Another major focus in my lab includes dystonia, which is also very common in patients with Parkinson's disease and other associated conditions. In collaboration with colleagues in biomedical engineering and neuroscience, we are coming up with very unique and novel ways to treat this condition. We involve state-of-art motion simulators. Our research participants sit on the motion simulator. They report how they are moving in the motion simulator. Then we turn off their deep brain stimulator and we again test the same paradigm, which then tells us that stimulation of particular part of the brain how it changes their perception of motion. Then we take that information and we go back and understand that from electrophysiological standpoint. In other words, how brain activity measured by local field potentials or EEG is changed by certain type of stimulation pattern. We also do mathematical modeling of electrically stimulated areas and we overlay that with patient's MRI. That tells us where exactly in the brain we are stimulating. So it's kind of a three-dimensional view of their performance in presence of stimulation, how stimulation changes rest of the brain with EEG and LFP, and where exactly in the brain we are stimulating. We developed this smart bike. It understands how veteran has performed while they are biking, and the bike talks to the cloud, and cloud talks back to the bike. So next time when veteran rides the bike, bike behaves a bit differently. And that different behavior depends on how veteran has performed on the bike and in between the exercise session. Once it is at its final stage, of course, which is our mission and dream, these bikes will then be deployed at veterans' homes and veterans can enjoy customized rehab at their home, which is the ultimate goal for the bike program.